Okay, here's an interesting video we have on how to teach uh, a squat movement pattern uh, or how to improve someone's squats within the squat. Uh, quite often, and I'm guilty of this for a long time, trying to improve someone's ability to squat because you can see that they can't do it well um, and breaking it up into pieces. And you still can do that and still is very useful. Um, but I used to do that and nothing would change with the squat, it's, even though we just improved the f flexibility, strength in their glutes, um, everything, you know, in an isolated or even partially integrated movement, but not necessarily the squat. It never changed the squat. Um, and here's, I've got the two guys in this video because Nathan's squats are excellent. I've got him on heel plates here, but he doesn't even really need them. Whereas Dylan struggled with hip problems and he's got a real stiffness about him when he moves in the squat. In a, if we test him flexibility wise, he's actually quite normal across all of his flexibility through, through everything. So there's nothing to stretch, but yet when he moves, he's really stiff. And this is something we see all the time. Um, so meaning that we're going to have, it's like a more of a mobility and a stability problem. So his body... Um, senses the lack of stability and stiffens him up within the movement pattern. So to change it, we need the movement pattern to be um, taught how to use these flexibility and, and for him to find ways to create the stability in the true sense, um, not through his false way of using stiffness. All right, so let's have a look at, you'll be able to see in this video, the two of them, how different they are. You can already see it from this one. We haven't done anything yet. Um, so we'll play it for you and we'll see how they go. Um, so you can already see Nathan a little bit more upright. Um, so as they go down, and here we go. So Dylan goes down, looks okay. And he, by the way, his squats aren't that bad. We're being nitpicking here, but you'll be able to see Nathan from side on here a little bit. It's a bit more obvious. So if I just drop that back and there's Dylan there. And you'll see Nathan very, um, very upright, very much like a front squat. You see those beautiful, and look at that knee flexion that he gets there. Dylan, not quite as much. Um, he's, in his, he did say to me afterwards, he was trying to keep his head more neutral. So where Nathan's looking straight ahead, Dylan's looking down. Um, but I would say Nathan's head is neutral. <laughs> um, Dylan's just sort of just not quite there and that, hence that's why he's working on it he's really working hard and he's improved a lot um, where Nathan's already doing like massive loads and stuff like that to improve his all right so if we continue to play it and you'll see um, and I'll go around from the side here and you'll see here there's the difference between the two of them see Dylan just can't quite sit upright or you feel like you'll fall backwards doesn't quite have that mobility to drive that knee, that little bit extra forward just needs to sort of come a bit more there um, and, you'll, you could, and you'll be able to sit more comfortably upright just like Nathan is as opposed to he wants to hunch over. All right? So thoracic mobility becomes a, a big factor in this as well. Um, so if I go around the other side and we'll have a look at when, when we see them on this side, you'll see Nathan a bit more up closer. All right, see how he gets that real deep squat. He looks very comfortable. Like I said, he doesn't need the heel plates. We've just told him to use it. And you see Dylan over on the other side just doesn't look quite in the right place. If he had a bar on his back, it would be really sort of squashing him where Nathan be able to drive right up from there quite easily. And you'll see when he does sort of come up. Um, so when Nathan drives up, here we go. See so straight up. No, no falling forward as such. All right, so that's a great example of how the, you can use the squat um, as an assessment tool to look at things in there. And then we're going to show you how you use little drills to help you improve it. And these are the things that Dylan's doing already. All right, so a great example of um, someone who's almost there but not quite. All right, and will always have difficulty until they address how to move. All right, so I hope you enjoy that. I'll see you in the next one. All right, so here's the video on how to use a drill to help you improve how to squat. And this is learning how to squat from the bottom up instead of from the top down. Um, we sort of learn everything from in the reverse. Deadlifts are a good one in, in this regard because they are from the bottom up. So 
Um, hence, they're they're a lot easier to teach and get them uh, getting it right from the word go. Whereas squats are a lot harder. I find a lot a lot of difficulty with the squat. So the two boys here are going to show you. Good. See, Dylan's got the heel plates. He struggles with the squat more than Nathan. Nathan does it quite well. Um, and you'll see what they're going to do is they're going to pick this dumbbell up. So they're going to go down into the squat, holding it up on their chest. Then they're going to go down with weight. So this is like they're learning how to drive their strength down and trying to maintain their form. Then they're going to hold it at the bottom. And then while they're holding that position, they're going to unload the weight. Now this is where you'll see someone with poor form will fall backwards or go into like a crunch position and come up. And you'll see both these guys do it well. Dylan just needs a little bit more work with it. But um, that's a great way of learning how to get, and we'll see from front on here, a great way to learn how to, and you'll see Nathan just that little bit deeper, a little bit more comfortable. See his knees are just outside his toes. Great posture. Well, there's the, and there's Dylan, he's just not quite as deep as Nathan. See that? And that's where his hips, and he'll tell you at the time, his hips are the thing that is really limiting him on this and then they drive themselves up. All right, so a great way, this is a great drill you can use to learn how to do the squat movement pattern. Um, we'll show you some little mobility drills to help you. Usually it's the ankles and along with the hips that are the big problem with this one. All right, so we'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, here's one of Dylan's favorite um, mobility exercises, and he likes it because it's sort of uh, frees up several joints at once, which is the big difference between stretching and mobility, by the way. Stretching is usually just one joint. Mobility is several of them at once, and usually it closely mimics uh, a movement pattern. This one doesn't necessarily mimic a movement pattern, but does free up several of his joints at once, being his thoracic spine as much as his um, hip flexor and through his knee, even his ankle. So he's sort of getting a lot of things at once. So you'll see all he has to do is get in this sort of kneeling position, and then open himself up so his right leg is getting a real deep stretch and his thoracic spine is getting that mobility to move around um, and if he wanted to he could even move his knee forward on that left leg to create an ankle stretch All right. but this is a great drill you can use to help you with that squat pattern even lunges for that matter um, a great one that you can use that does a lot give you a big bang for your buck all right so let's have a look at another one all right, here's Dylan showing us uh, a, his um, specific squatting uh, mobility drill for his ankle. And to get that knee sort of driving forward, that his heel coming off the floor. Um, so basically all he's doing is he's holding his heel down on the ground and then using his other hand, his left hand, to drive his knee forward as much as he's pushing it forward. And then you can see now he's trying to take that knee outside the foot without the foot coming off the floor. This is where we see a lot of people with excessively flat feet and pronation. They just sort of cannot do that. And weak glutes have become a problem. A tight a groin muscles, adductors, and hip flexors are just driving it. And you see here, this is where he really needs to get into in that deep squat position. So he's practicing more or less how to do that. Um, so then he uses this before he does his squats to help him do his squats. All right, so it's a, again, he's trying to move it. He's not just like when you move at the squat, you're moving, you're not st sitting still. So he's trying to sort of like take it around in all angles. See that how he drove it in and he's driving it forward and he's driving it out. All right, so a very simple drill, but very, very effective. All right, so um, we'll show you one more with a little weird contraption that you can get um, to help you. All right, this last mobility drill for the ankle um, this is an interesting uh, mobility device you can get from the internet. Um, but if you don't have it, you can really create it anyway, just from using a rolled up towel or something to stand on where you basically, and I'll, show, I'll play it for you, Nathan's just going to drive his foot back into, into a real flexing, which they call dorsi flexing, and then he's going to plantar flex. So now he's, he's moving it back and forth through his ankle, trying to keep his knee as straight as he can. And this is like trying to get that ankle to free itself up and become very mobile because it must be must be a mobile joint if it becomes stiff then the knee becomes too mobile because the ankle's not providing it or um, what you do see quite often is people rolling in this is the excessive pronation and 
um, in trying to correct the problem somewhere else up the chain. So um, quite often in the squat we find this is a big limitation. This is one reason why people can't do get deeper and or if they go deeper their heels come off the floor because they don't have the flexibility through that joint to do it. All right, so this is one drill you can use. It's very, very effective. Uh, like I said, if you don't have this little tool, um, you can um, just use something to roll your foot across like a roll towel that go onto your toes, onto your heels, onto your toes, onto your heels. All right, um, and a very useful thing in helping you to move better.